Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Clash of Kings. Now, when we left off, we had attempted to take Valon Thares, and we were unfortunately not able to capture it in that time. However, we were then able to repel a huge assault by the Valantines at Valantis itself, and thankfully enough, we were able to retain possession of it. Now, one of you did state in the comments that it may be a good idea for us to acquire a crossbow. So I have done just that. We have a regular crossbow. I was looking for something a little bit more damaging, but this is the best I could get. And these bolts are incredible, as you can see, plus 19 to damage. This is hopefully going to help us out quite a bit. Now, I am using a one-handed and a two-handed sword. This may be a little bit redundant because we don't actually have a shield. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is potentially remove the arming sword and just use a shield and use the shield as a defense, I suppose, against the enemy archers or indeed their javelins because we know that the Valentines have a huge amount of skirmishes. So maybe instead of the arming sword, we will have that. I know I cannot use it with the two-handed, but I believe it will be nice just to have on our back to potentially protect us from the back and maybe indeed be able to use it as a cover in case we are moving towards a couple of projectile users. So hopefully that will be rather nice right there. And I did buy a little bit more bread as you can see. Hopefully that will help us out in the days to come as we are now going to recommence our siege of the town north of Atlantis. And, wow, I'm moving very slowly indeed in the night, apparently, so yes. Huh. Okay, well, thankfully it is only a ladder castle, and we have four hours until our ladders are complete. Now, I do realize, I think, there is one vassal northwards of here. I think I scouted them a little bit earlier, but of course they could have moved by this point. But yes, thankfully enough, I was actually able to find a crossbow, because I went everywhere. I went to Lys, I went to... Mer, and I was thinking that it would be at Mer because one of you did state in the comments as well that the Mermians are actually incredible at crossbow. So I'm hopefully going to be able to recruit some of those in the future. But for now, we are going to lead our soldiers in an assault and we will see how we do. Now, there are, I think, 260 odd units here and I do not have a shield, but we can potentially use one until we get into range. So. Maybe that's what we could do. Let's just equip it for now and make sure we don't take any unnecessary damage. Carver is running ahead of us here. I have not replaced his armor just yet because I still think it would be a rather nice idea just to let him run as quickly as he can. If he gets taken out incredibly quickly here, then I may indeed decide to... Hmm, that was a little bit too close for my liking. Well, <laughs> at least I have a crossbow, so I should be able to stay out of the line of fire now. Or at least a little bit. So let's try out our crossbow, shall we? Okay, come on. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. I am actually unaware of the power of this particular crossbow, so hopefully I'll be able to use it in a rather sufficient manner. I think I have to... Wow, yes. Okay, so this is not a very powerful crossbow at all. I have not tried it until now. So, yeah... We do need to compensate rather heavily for the firing arc, as you can see by that previous headshot. We did need to fire quite a bit higher than we would necessarily want to, but uh, maybe that was just a fluke, perhaps? I'm not entirely sure. They do have a couple of very heavy-looking shields over there, which are not looking too good for us. Come on. Let's do this. Oh my goodness. Yes, I do have my exact same composition that we had previously in our army. And some of them had successfully leveled up, which is rather nice. And I think I'm actually doing terribly here with this crossbow. Wait a minute. How do I actually fire this? I need to fire it way, way above them, I think. Or is that not the case? Wow. Okay, I'm not entirely sure. I'm firing into them, but I think I may be... Oh my goodness, yes, you do need to fire very, very high up into the air to actually hit anything. As you can see by that, I'm not sure whether you can see the projectile, but yeah, it is actually just hitting the wall at the moment. We do need to raise it up quite high. There we are, there is some damage. So yes, as you can see, this appears to be one of the weakest crossbows I could ever find, and I am 
rather disappointed. I was hoping I could find an Arbalest, potentially, because they are, I believe, much more powerful. But, nevertheless, I suppose we do have some ranged capability now. I think it would be easier if I was in the defense, and I was able to shoot down upon people, but at the moment I'm shooting up, and it's not really working out too well, I must admit. So, oh, there we are. We actually took someone out with our last shot right there. We do have five shots remaining, but I believe it's probably just easier for us to head up here and do some damage with our two-handed sword, of course. So, come on. Let's try and do it. Oh, yes, there we are. Nice damage right there. Very, very quick. And, oh, it appears that one of our man-at-arms wants to assist us right here. That's very nice of him. Okay, come on. Let us attempt to assist him as well. Make sure that we fight shoulder to shoulder. Come on, take that guy out. Yes, there we are. Okay, let us expand our presence on their battlements. And hopefully box them out in such a way that we will have no problems at all. Come on. Yes, there we are. That is fine. Oh, careful. I do need to make sure that I block a little bit more than previously because, of course, I do not have the shield capability with one-handed any further. So, if I want to do damage, I have to be relatively good at parrying. And I think what I would want to do is, as I stated previously, I believe we do have a side street that we can potentially use to get behind our opponents. But it appears at the moment I am a little bit stuck. Ah, there we are. That is much better. So, yes, I will attempt to do a similar tactic that we had previously. And I will get our archers to stand down there. Now, this will be incredibly good if I can get it to work. But if it doesn't work, then I will just be furious. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely furious. Oh, it appears that our infantry are completely fine to straight on in right there. Oh my. I was not expecting them to be able to clear the way so easily. But it appears that some of the enemy's units may have gotten stuck on the stairs a little bit. So that's not too bad in terms of our predicament that we were in previously, so I think I can probably move our archers a little bit closer, to be honest, so they can be more effective. And as a result, I think I'll probably get my crossbow out as well. And we will fire into the fray. And thankfully enough, because I am so close, I am able to very easily and accurately gain headshots, as you can see there. Very nice. Oh wow, we're actually not doing too badly, and our weapon proficiency is amazing, so I'm just so sad that I have such a terrible crossbow. Well, it's not that bad. As I said, it is better, I think, for siege defense rather than siege offense, but at the moment we are going to be doing a lot of siege offense, so it would be nice if we could get something a little bit more powerful in future. But unfortunately this was the only thing I was able to find that wasn't cracked or in some way damaged because I really didn't want to have low damage. I wanted to have at least maybe 25 to 30 damage, but yeah. Hmm. Oh well. Nevertheless, we seem to be completely... Whoa, okay. Completely fine. They are all heading down the stairs right here. And we will then head on in and take out the rest of them, which is probably just this one fellow right here. Stab him. Yes, there we are. He is down. So, there we are. 292 of our opponents were taken out. And we lost 23 to death and a couple to wounded. Not too much. Six renown was our reward. Not too bad. And we do get to take some camel riders now, which is the first time we've seen some camel riders in this particular series. So that is great. I will be taking every single one of them because we do have a huge amount of space after all. That would be the way to do it. So yes, let us move on and take a look here. Anything that is actually good? Well, I do have a heavy destrier. I don't really need anything else. Do they have any crossbows? No. <laughs> I wouldn't think that they would. So yes, we will let our companions take that. I do not have any space until we have eaten through some of our food supplies, of course. And I will now be deferring appointment of a lord because I really do not think I have enough troops to spread around. So. We will defer for now, and hopefully that will garrison the fief enough to defend it. And I think we will be plundering this, will we? We have so much, though, in the treasury. I don't really think we really need to. Hmm. But should we? 
Ah, let's do it. Why not? It does increase our relation with Balakwo after all, and we do get 4,250, so why not? That is, I suppose, something to think about right there. Okay, so there appears to be no crossbows at all in the Valentine areas, and that makes me very sad indeed. I was hoping that we would be able to find some. Well, this one is okay, but I still would prefer something a little bit more powerful, but nevertheless, we will then... Wait for some time after we have healed and rejuvenated our units and leveled them up, of course. We will head on to the next fief, and I believe that has 406 units garrisoned in there. I did pass by it a little bit earlier on, and oh, it appears that Elias has leveled up as well as Carver. So we will be speaking to Carver right away, and we will see what he is going to spec into. So. I think the logical thing to assume right here is to increase his strength just so that he can increase, well, his Iron Flesh as much as possible and it would be on the way to increasing his Power Strike a little bit further, but as you saw in the previous episode, the Weapon Master seems to be helping him quite a lot to increase his two-handed weapon proficiency, so we're going to go for strength, but we're going to go for Weapon Master and then we will increase his two-handed weapons even further, and then he will hopefully be able to level that up himself in sieges and so forth rather quickly. So, Elias has leveled up as well. Now, this is difficult, because as you can see, we do need to get to 24 strength to be able to level up our Power Strike or Iron Flesh any further. I have a feeling that Weapon Master is probably going to be an option right here. Riding is not so much but maybe inventory management to get a little bit more food. Engineer's great, obviously. Leadership is okay as well. Okay, we'll go for strength, just to get it to 24, and then we'll level up our Weapon Master a little bit as well, so we can then spend our weapon points very nicely into crossbows as much as possible, and then we'll get some pole arms and some one-handed, why not? And a little bit of throwing, why not? There we are, that sounds good. So there we are, we do have a garrison of 33 units in here, and I will now be waiting for some time, and then maybe, aha, it is being sieged, but only by 140 troops. I'm not entirely sure whether he thinks he can do it, but it appears he does. This is not going to be good for him, I don't think. Usually sieges for the Valentines are rather rough, so, oh my. This is what we are currently gaining from various strongholds that we own. Yeah, we're gaining 37,000, and we do have tributes from our nobles, which is very nice indeed. 921 from Balakwo, I believe. I don't think we have any other vassals at all, so yes, I actually do need to speak to him again and hopefully be able to level up a couple of his skills. It would be rather nice to see how far he has progressed since last time. So there we are. We have 171 troops against 140, and this is probably going to be a... Rather straightforward siege defense, but you never know, they may surprise us. I was, thankfully enough, able to rejuvenate all of our HP, or at least the majority of it, and now I can use my crossbow to the greatest effect, as you can see by that initial headshot right there. Very nice indeed. Okay. It seems that these crossbows, or at least this crossbow model in particular, is probably going to be the best for siege defense. And not so much for offense, but yeah. It will be okay once I get used to it, I suppose. The bolt drop, or the arrow drop, whatever you want to call it, is rather severe, so you do need to modify your firing arc quite considerably when you're firing upwards, of course. So, there's that to think about. Come on. Oh yes. Let's get 200 crossbow proficiency, please. That would be wonderful. Of course, we are incredibly accurate as it is, so I don't think we really need anything more than that, but does it increase the speed? I'm not entirely sure whether the proficiency will increase the speed, but yeah, I think that's mainly to do with the accuracy, the proficiency, so yes, I suppose as much as we can get of that is what we require. Oh yes, there we are. Nice. Crossbow proficiency 200 now, and I took a little bit of damage there, but nothing to worry about. Only zero, apparently, so it appears they hit me with... A very blunt javelin indeed, and that fellow almost hit me in the head right there. Did you see that javelin go right to streaming to towards us? Yes. Oh wow, okay. It appears that having this sort of helm 
is, I suppose, showing us a lot more blood. Oh my. That is rather brutal, isn't it? Oh yes, I was not expecting that sort of thing to occur, but uh, well, we can just get out our two-handed sword and go to town. Yes, well, as you can see, these guys are not equipped to siege, that is for sure. I think we already know that. On that note, one of you did mention in the comments that the Valantines are absolutely devastating in a field battle, so if at all possible to try and avoid getting into a field battle with the Valantines, otherwise they will just absolutely destroy us, apparently, according to you, so yes, I do need to watch out for that in future. If we have an opportunity to engage them, then it would probably be a better idea not to do so, just in case. Now, I'm hoping that no one is going to be at the end of the ladder there. No, it appears they are all taken down. And we can now take a look at our renown gain. Oh, only six. Okay, well, I suppose that is logical to assume, considering we only took out, what was it, 270, and we still gained six renown. So it appears that that may be a fixed value for this particular fief, or... Something along those lines, perhaps? Well, maybe the next fief that we attempt to take will be a little bit more renown. I would like that, because even though we do have a rather large company size already, I have a feeling that later down the line we will need to field a much larger army. So, yes, that will be something to think about. And, yes, yet again, we will be letting all our companions loot, and then... We will be waiting for some time. And we have just finished reading the seven-pointed star and increased our charisma. Wonderful. Okay, so we resume at the village of Harlor. Now, this is rather interesting, I must admit. One of the vassals from Valantis, or at least from the Valantines, has headed over all the way to the Iron Islands, across the map, and he has raided Harlor. I have no idea why he has decided to do this, but <laughs> I suppose it is better than throwing himself against the walls at Valantis, or indeed our newly conquered fief. So I can only hope that Balakwo does not get himself taken prisoner, and I will not need to go and save him. So yes, let us just hope that Balakwo is able to see to that himself, and we will be able to continue on our quest down here at the ruins of Sarmel, which we will be attempting to siege in just a moment, as soon as we can get our siege equipment constructed and thankfully enough it is not a siege tower and we will be taking four hours over this. So I'm actually wondering who it is that has raided Harlor but yes I only know that it is one of the Volantis vassals. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be Dunstan but who knows he knows the way over there. So, yes, maybe he led a couple of people over there. Oh, no. But nevertheless, we have a real-time event here. You come upon bandits ambushing some merchants. Chase the bandits away, of course. You gain some honor, and the merchants give you some money, which is rather nice. So there we are. We can now lead our soldiers. I believe this particular garrison is filled with 246 troops. So... This is going to be rather painful if they have a huge amount of javelins, which no doubt they will be able to field them. And I am really hoping that I will be able to... Oh, hit someone, which is rather nice. Okay, come on. Let's try and take out that fellow. He's getting some really good damage on our units right there. Thankfully enough, they are not equipped with shields by the looks of things. They have thrown weapons, one-handed swords, and it appears that may be it. So, yes, that's not entirely good for them, but... Excellent for our crossbowmen, as you can see by a couple of our Leech Reach crossbowmen doing some damage right there. And I think what I may want to do is test out this front door here, because I'm hoping this will be a destructible door. But I suppose if it isn't, then not a problem, but it would be wonderful if I could actually enter here with a couple of our troops. No, it appears not. Oh well, that is unfortunate, but nevertheless, I suppose it was good of them to lock up the front door before we arrived, <laughs> otherwise it would have been way too easy for us. And saying way too easy, we are absolutely destroying them at the moment. Aha, okay, so it appears that to make it a little bit more difficult, 
the mod creator has introduced a couple of restrictions in terms of where you can move on the battlefield here. So let us attempt to make sure that we are not affected too adversely by them. But you never know. Okay, so we've already... Mm, okay, we've actually lost quite a serious amount of units in comparison to what we would usually lose. But, hmm... Yes, we've lost 19 and they've lost 32, so we are basically even in terms of how many they have total here. And now they're actually winning in ratios, but oh my, that's not going to be too good, is it? And now I am being called by someone. This is terrible timing. Every single time I record an episode, there appears to be some sort of phone call. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to be for me anyway, but... Nevertheless, <laughs> we will be attempting to use our crossbow once more and hopefully be able to assist our units enough so that they can get on top of the battlements. And, ooh, there is a very nice headshot right there. We didn't actually take him out. We didn't take out that fellow. Oh, my goodness. We didn't even take him out with a headshot. That is terrible. Well, he must be wearing an incredibly strong helmet then. Oh, there we are. We were able to take out one of their mounted skirmishers. It's not too bad. I'm actually wondering what many of our units are doing at the top of the ladder there. I'm really hoping that we'll be able to take this before our newly conquered fief that is absolutely defenseless at the moment gets besieged. So, hmm, this is going to be rather tricky. Come on. Oh, yes, we actually hit that fellow. Okay, I may have the correct firing arc now. Unfortunately, he was able to take cover. Come on. Oh, that hit the battlements just ever so slightly. Or maybe it's going over him. Okay, come on. Ah, yes, so unlucky. Well, at least I haven't actually taken any damage so far. I think that is probably the greatest thing I can say, because now we should, if our units are able to penetrate their defenses, we should be able to go up there and help as best we can. So, oh my goodness, yes, nice camera work. We will hopefully move our archers a little bit closer. And then we will be moving up here as well. Should we? Or should we just retreat? Because... Oh my, yeah, we've lost quite a few units. Wow. Okay, I was not expecting to lose that many so early on, but it appears that maybe because I've taken a couple of lower-tiered units from rescued prisoners and so forth, I am having a little bit of a... delusion in terms of our army strength, perhaps? I mean, we do have... A huge amount of Vale Sergeants, Northern Sergeants, and a couple of other Sergeants, but... Hmm. I'm not entirely sure whether this will be enough to be able to deal with the units that are stationed here. As you can see, we actually only have... Oh, we do have 34 infantry. Where are they? Oh. <laughs> it appears they may have actually penetrated the defenses. That would have been nice. So, let's actually just take a look here. Hopefully that will be the case. If it is not, then I may even consider retreating and resting up. But we will see how it is once we get up here. It's actually not too bad. We are fighting them tooth and nail, but... Yeah. It may be a little bit too much to ask for to actually clear out all of these units. Wow, okay. There's a huge amount of enemy units, and there are even more being introduced into the fray. Come on. Now that Elias has come in, they are all retreating from the right side. So let us hopefully be able to get in here and deal as much damage as we can. He's trapping me. There we are. That's much better. Okay, come on. Take them out. Clear all of the battlements. We need to get all of our units up here as quickly as we can. Yes, there we are. Okay, come on. Take him out. Take him out. Yes. Okay, now we just need to be cautious. Make sure we don't fight too deep into their lines because, of course... If we do that, then we will be surrounded and killed by many of the units that have shields. We do not want to have that happen, that is for sure. Oh my goodness, this guy's actually doing a pretty serious amount of damage. Good on him. Okay, whoa, new enemies have arrived again? Okay, I really thought they only had 246 units here. It appears they may have a little bit more. Maybe they've bolstered the garrison before we arrived. Maybe they knew that that is where we were going. That is not too good, I have to admit. Okay, wait a minute. Can I jump onto this roof? Oh, I do not believe so. Okay, we're going to need to charge our archers in. Desperate times. Call for desperate measures, of course. Come on. We can survive this, Elias. 
Come on, take them all out before they are able to counterattack and switch from their bows. Yes, there we are. That is very, very good indeed. Okay, phew. The pressure has been lifted a little bit, and where was that guy going? Did you see that? Oh, if only I had my camera a little bit higher up there. Well, maybe I will do some sort of slow motion thing. Oh my goodness, that was excellent. If only I had seen that a little bit more clearly. Well, nevertheless, let's do this. Yeah, what? Take him out. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so... Oh, it appears that there were 249. Wow. Okay, it appears that potentially the actual castle layout is a lot more defensible than the previous siege. So, wow, there we are. We actually lost 30 to death. We are actually losing quite a few of our stronger units. And I think in the end I may have to make the long trip back to the Iron Islands area. And then we will have to recruit more volunteers. Oh, that is not too good. Okay, well, at least our companions can collect the items, and I will be deferring the appointment of a lord for now. I would really like to take the money from the wages each week, from the rents and tariffs, etc., but I think the automatic garrison is much more useful at this time. So, I think I will now be ending this episode off here, and next time on Clash of Kings, I will be... Hopefully garrisoning these two fiefs right here and being able to defend it from a variety of different vassals. I'm pretty sure they only have, let's see here, maybe three left? I'm not entirely sure really because we have taken some of them prisoner after all and I can only hope that that will make the difference in terms of us being able to defend. So I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.